Today we pick up our Bible study in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. Discipline is a word that we all know comes with sacrifice. Sacrifice of things that we don't necessarily want to do away with. But that is what the Apostle Paul teaches us in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. This is the passage with the teaching about running a race to win. Not running the race just to say that we're in the race, but that we're striving to win the race which should be the goal of being in the race. The Bible teaches us in Romans chapter 6, verses 20 through 23, as I quote from the New International Version, When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at the time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, The benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is a command that we should strive to run the race as to win. It is easy in this hustle and bustle world to grow complacent in simply being a part of the body of Christ. To be present in a church service or at a church function as if it is fulfilling our duty to Jesus as a faithful follower of his. These things are important for all of us, but as we sit in a church service, we should have the attitude of learning and growing in our relationship with Christ Jesus. But it is not just about being a part of a church service or function, but that we are growing relationships with Christ. This helps us along with a daily study of God's word and time spent in prayer to prepare us to win the race, to have an ability to be prepared when the opportunity presents itself to share Jesus with another person. Dear Lord, we all want to win the race of life eternal in Christ Jesus. But help us to realize and understand that A Christian life is an active life of discipline and preparation for the opportunities that you give us to be productive in sharing the gospel and of how you are working wonders in our lives with others, that we too would run the race as to win and hear the wonderful words when that day comes. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord, as we learn in Matthew chapter 25, verse 23. Please let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.